Unit 6, Lesson 16, Two Related Quantities, Part 1. Number 1. Here is a graph that shows some values for the number of cups of sugar, S, required to make X batches of brownies. A. Complete the table so that the pair of numbers in each column represents the coordinates of a point on the graph. If you look along the bottom of this graph, you can see that the batches of brownies are identified along the bottom. Look on the left hand side of the graph, you can see that the cups of sugar are identified on the left hand side of the graph. Look at the first point in the lower left hand corner just above the one. That represents one batch of brownies and it lines up with a half a cup of sugar. The second point is directly above the two and that represents two cups of brownies and that lines up with one cup of sugar. The x coordinate for the first point would be one and the s coordinate for the first point would be 5 tenths. The second point, the x coordinate would be 2, and the s coordinate would be 1. When the x coordinate is 1, the s coordinate is 5 tenths. When the x coordinate is 2, the s coordinate is 1. So you can see the x coordinate is increasing by 1, and the s coordinate is increasing by 5 tenths. When filling out the x coordinates, just count by ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When filling out the s coordinates, count by 5 tenths. 5 tenths, 1, 1 and 5 tenths, 2, 2 and 5 tenths, 3, and 3 and 5 tenths. B. What does the point with coordinates 8 and 4 mean in terms of the amount of sugar and number of batches of brownies. Eight batches of brownie uses four cups of sugar. C. Write an equation that shows the amount of sugar in terms of the number of batches, with x representing the batches of brownies and s representing the cups of sugar, the equation would be x equals one half s. Number two, each serving of a certain fruit snack contains 90 calories. A, Han wants to know how many calories he gets from the fruit snacks. Write an equation that shows the number of calories, C, in terms of the number of servings, N. The equation would be C equals 90N. B. Tyler needs some extra calories each day during his sports season. He wants to know how many servings he can have each day if all the extra calories come from the fruit snack. Write an equation that shows the number of servings, N, in terms of the number of calories, C. N equals C over 90, or N equals C divided by 90. Number 3. Kieran shops for books during a 20% off sale. A. What percent of the original price of a book does Kieran pay during the sale? Well, 100% minus 20% equals 80%. So during the 20% off sale, Kieran will pay 80% for a book. B. Complete the table to show how much Kieran pays for books during the sale. The left hand column represents the original price in dollars. $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, all the way down to $10 worth of books. The right hand column represents the sale price in dollars, or 20% off of the original price, and 20% off the original price would be 80% of the original price, and we know that 80% of $1 is 80 cents. On the left hand column you'll notice it increases by ones, one, two, three, four, and so on. On the right hand column it's going to increase by 80 cents, 80 cents, $1.60, $2.40, $3.20, $5.50, $6.50, $7.50, $8.50, $9.50, $10.50, $11.50, $12.50, $13.50, $14.50, $15.50, $16.50, $17.50, $18.50, $19.50, $20.50, $21.50, $22.50, $23.50, $24.50, $25.50, $26.50, $27.50, $28.50, $29.50, $30.50, $31.50, $32.50, $33.50, $34.50, $35.50, $36.50, $37.50, $38.50, $39.50, $40.50, $41.50, $42.50, $43.50, $44.50, $45.50, $46.50, $47.50, $48.50, $49.50, $50.50, $51.50, $52.50, $53.50, $54.50, $55.50, $56.50, $57.50, $58.50, $59.50, $60.50, $61.50, $62.50, $63.50, $64.50, $65.50, $66.50, $67.50, $68.50, $69.50, $70.50, $71.50, $72.50, $73.50, $74.50, $75.50, $76.50, $77.50, $78.50, $79.50, $80.50, $81.50, $82.50, $83.50, $84.50, $85.50, $86.50, $87.50, $88.50, $89.50, $90.50, $91.50, $92.50, $93.50, $94.50, $95.50, $96.50, $97.50, $98.50, $99.50, $100.50, $101.50, $102.50, $103.50, $104.50, $105.50, $106.50, $107.50, $108.50, $109.50, $110.50, $111.50, $112.50, $113.50, $114.50, $115.50, $116.50, $117.50, $118.50, $119.50, $120.50, $121.50, $122.50, $123.50, $124.50, $125.50, $126.50, $127.50, $128.50, $129.50, $130.50, $131.50, $132.50, $133.50, $134.50, $135.50, $136.50, $137.50, $138.50, $139.50, $140.50, $141.50, $142.50, $143.50, $144.50, $145.50, $146.50, $147.50, $148.50, $149.50, $150.50, $151.50, $152.50, $153.50, $154.50, $155.50, $156.50, $157.50, $158.50, $159.50, $160.50, $170.50, $171.50, $172.50, $173.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50, $174.50,
And I'm sure that you can see that pattern in green. We're really just adding 8. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus another 8 is 24, plus another 8 is 32. The only difference is we're adding by 80 cents, and 80 cents is 10 times greater than 8 cents. So 80 cents plus 80 cents is $1.60, plus another 80 cents is $2.40. I'm sure you can see the pattern. C. Write an equation that relates the sale price, S, to the original price, P. That equation would be S equals 8 tenths P. D. On graph paper, create a graph showing the relationship between the sale price and the original price by plotting the points from the table. So we're going to take the points from the table on the right hand side of this page and we're going to use them to plot points on a graph. I have an axis across the bottom showing the original price. It started with a zero on the bottom left hand corner and each time I move to a new line it represents one dollar. So moving to the right from the zero to the next line I write one representing one dollar. I move to the right one more line I write a two that represents two dollars and so forth. I've set up the vertical side the same way, starting from the zero and moving up to the first line that represents one dollar, up one more line that represents two dollars, up another line that represents three dollars, and so on. And note that I've labeled this left side the sale price. So as we're going vertically, that's representing the sale price, and as we're going horizontally or right to left, that's representing the original price. Let's take a look at the first three sets of coordinates. We have the original price on the left-hand column and the sale price in the right-hand column. Our first set of coordinates are 1 and 8 tenths. That means we're going to move to the right one whole unit and move up 8 tenths of a unit. The original price axis runs along the bottom. We start at 0 and we move to the right one full unit. The sale price moves vertically on the left side. We'll start at the bottom, but we'll only move up 8 tenths. And this is where we'll place our point. One full unit to the right and 8 tenths of a unit vertically, just beneath the one unit point to represent 80 cents. Let's take a look at the second set of coordinates. 2 and 1 and 6 tenths. So we will move two places to the right, and then we'll move vertically one and six tenths, and then place our point. Start from the zero and move two places to the right, and then move vertically one and six tenths. That would be a little bit further than one and a half. Then place your point there, representing one dollar and sixty cents. Take a look at the third set of coordinates, 3 and 2 and 4 tenths. So we're going to move to the right 3, and then we're going to move up 2 and 4 tenths, and then place the point there to represent $2.40. So start at the 0 in the bottom left hand corner and move to the first coordinate. That would be 3 spaces to the right, and then move vertically to the sale price. That would be $2.40. And then put your point. Be sure to put your point just below two and a half because two dollars and forty cents is less than two dollars and fifty cents. And two dollars and fifty cents would be halfway between two dollars and three dollars. Here's a look at the rest of the coordinates representing the sale price. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 16. Two Related Quantities, Part 1. Right now you can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. That sure beats the price you pay for a tutor. 